good morning. Good morning. Or almost afternoon. Well, yeah. Actually, way afternoon. What oh, wow. Saying? Well, you can, you can fool me with anything. So, good afternoon. Well, good for afternoon. you, it might still feel morning because you guys were on the road. So. Yeah, I, I got in here. Uh, I had to get up and drive two and a half hours to get here today. So, uh, But I'm good. I'm rocking. Excellent. And you got a kind of an interesting year with a Greatest Hits package. Yeah, we're, we're excited about it. It's uh, something that, you know, we've been kind of holding on to for quite some time. And... Uh, uh, I thought it would be cool to bust it up into a couple of different volumes, maybe, and, and put a whole lot of new music on this first one. Right. And uh, so we're going to try to have 15 tracks. It'll be all the hits, you know, and well, not all the hits, but, but several of the hits, and then some new music, too. Uh, but but a, a lot of what we do this year, and we've got quite a few projects going, uh, will be kind of in conjunction with the 15th anniversary of 9 11 because of my right. success with the Have You Forgotten song. And, yeah. All that kind of stuff. So, uh, and just in general, a lot of military oh, uh, yeah. projects involving the military. Tons. Do. Yeah, we've 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 just gone so many times to entertain them in the war zone, and we've done uh, trips all over the world. You know, to see those guys and gals, and it's just uh, it's part. It's a passion. We're, we love we love doing it. So yeah. And I did, you know, warn you <laughs> about the kind of central topic of my interviews this year. Um, when you get ready to, you know, you're working on something that's very much of yourself. When you release that into the world, how does that feel still after all these years of doing it? What's the anticipation? Is it excitement? Nervousness? Um, how does that still feel to kind of go, here's my creative project? It's... it's uh, it's not, you know, as there's not as much angst, I don't think, as, as there might have been years ago, uh, because, uh, you know, there's a, a group of people out there that definitely support you, uh, and you always hope that your hard work on social media or whatever you're doing will, will bring a, around some new fans, and uh, uh, so, you know, that's one of the things that is, that is the unknown, and, and hopefully, you know... I think you have, there's a very uh, there's hopefulness in it that you will bring some new fans around, um, it, and I think you're right. I think it is a brave move to turn loose to something uh, of yourself. You know, uh, you, you you make me think of uh, the new music. Uh, those other songs are tried and true. You know, you already know it, yeah. but the new music. Um, you know, you look at the the stuff that's out there today, and, and you think, how would I? You know, take something of mine and make it fit into that environment. And I, I think I've learned that at the end of the day, it's just best to do whatever it is you do best, and 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 figure out when the thing is going to come back around and meet you, and not chase after some kind of a. Uh, so so you know, uh, but in that environment, you you put out brand new stuff, and you think is is any guy is anybody um, you know that you call your core country music listeners right now? Are they going to like this because this is not this is not the going thing you know maybe right. this, it, so it's kind of weird uh i think even bigger on a bigger front we've we've got a uh, my first christian album coming this year oh wow and i've never i've never done one before uh, i think you know because people in this business do that i grew up you know the, the son of a preacher man and mm -hmm. and all that stuff that they assumed that that would happen you know early on in my career and uh, I, I opted uh, out of a lot of opportunities to do that because I just didn't know if I was ready for that or not. And and so on a spiritual level, putting that out right now is, is, is even more to me. I, I mean, I've never gone near the Christian genre. I have no idea. So I almost said that I really wouldn't know if I was doing something wrong in the music. So it's a, it's a grand opportunity to do something right. I mean... Something yeah. that hasn't been done before, maybe. Who knows? I, I, but we're just doing. We're just. The songs are coming to me. They have been for about a year and a half, uh, and that's when I told my wife. I said it may be time for this, you know. Yeah. But now this is going to be a piece of me that nobody's even had a look at, and that's a little more. There's, there's. I have a little anxiety about it. Yeah, because it's true. That's very personal. It is. That is. It, very, it, it is very so. Personal. It is so uh, intense. Some of this really tells the story uh and i mean I, I i'm not afraid but uh and i really believe that this music could make a difference in people's lives uh at least you, you always hope that with any of the music that you do 
Uh, but but this is uh, I mean I've opened up the book now. It's yeah. like it's like literally. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's so you know I, um, when you're going into uncharted territory too. You know I mean they may not even the the the, the Christian industry may not even give it a look, and that's fine. That's not why I'm doing it. Uh, but you always kind of have that hope that you know uh, you strike a chord somewhere, yeah. and who knows? Uh, I just know that I got to do, got to do the music my way and stay true to what I feel. Uh, I know it's going to be. When I think about church as a child, uh, there was there was a time when the music meant so much to me, and it sounded a certain way, and that's how this is going to sound. Uh, it has a blues. It has a very bluesy base to it. It's it's yeah. like it, this would be church in the s- deep Mississippi Delta. Right, right, right. It's kind of that. Uh, it's just got a cool vibe about it. My wife's like, I've just never even heard anything like this come out of you. So it's gonna be fun to see. Yeah. And I'm 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 getting ready to. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my heart. Here it is. And my soul. <laughs> Critique it, please. Well, because that's. That to me is the is the really fascinating thing, and why I, even if because I think it's why it's so easy for me. Like even if I think about artists, yourself not included in this in this next comment, <laughs> whose music I personally am not drawn to, I can still respect what they're doing. Oh sure, because it is so hard. Oh, I'm, I'm um, so with you. You know, it's just incredible I, and so- that, that vulnerability you have mm-hmm. to have. Which means that courage you have to have. How has that changed over the years? And you kind of gave a little bit of an insight when you said, you know, when you're thinking about your audience, that makes it a little easier because you have that end yeah. point. You have yeah, people yeah. for whom you do this. Right. Is there anything else that helps you with overcoming that, not fear, but that little anxiousness? I, th- I think the farther that you get down the road, and, it, and part of it is business and part of it is life. I think the farther that you get down the road, uh, the less encumbered you are by, uh, you know, what maybe what someone else might think, uh, uh, someone else's production ideas. You know, you don't you don't think about uh, all the things that you think of on the front end. You know, you don't worry you don't you don't worry about how somebody might review this music. You could care less. It's like you know what? Sometimes a, a terrible review is the best thing could ever happen to you. It's like oh man. If they're all loving it, it's probably not going to do anything. I mean, that's that's what I've found. And so, um, I mean, there's definitely freedom that comes with time and experience. Um, and I feel that more now than ever before. Uh, one of the reasons is because, you know, you're footing the bill. You, you know, you're paying from it from the get-go. Uh, we were always paying for it, but it was on a budget that you'd be recouping you know yeah, it's kind of different you it's don't very have to different front, put it up front. yeah it's yeah. very different so you're thinking on this you just you have no boundaries whatsoever and uh, and and you're not you're not I'm I'm nowhere near as reluctant to expose myself uh, even some of the dark corners that before I might not have gone there and 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 uh, even even on the uh, you know the new music on the greatest hits uh, whatever whatever comes out of me in the form of music is hopefully something that there will be, be someone out there that can relate to it I almost always know that there's somebody waiting to hear that song yeah and and there may be a whole lot of somebodies at least that's that's what you hope and so yeah I'm I'm not I don't feel you're you're really onto something with this whole, you know. That's you because it's there in the beginning. It's very much there in the beginning. It, it, I was not near the open book that I am now, but I believe that the experience and and time spent doing what you love to do, and then all my experiences from the road. I mean, it, all this stuff has molded me and changed me, and I'm a different person than I was when I started. But those experiences are still worth something. They're uh, if they're good enough to write songs about, they're good enough to let people hear so that might, might make a difference in someone's life. Yeah. And he, I think the one of the things that's the hardest early on is patience. Because mm. this is a slow business. Oh. Um, you know, that's the usual 10-year overnight success, yeah. right? Um, how, do you, how did you before and how do you handle now that need to stay patient? Because now you know, you can trust you have an audience. That, that must be a really good feeling. You didn't have that initially. No. You know, you still have to go find your audience. So how did how did that 
happen for you early? Like that, how do you, did you build that capacity for patience? I think that's my question. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and you know, I, I started praying for patience really, really, uh, I, I, in a big way about 10 years ago, and, and uh, or nine years ago, and about a year and a half in, the, the good Lord gave me a daughter. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm in a totally different... Talk about a slow thing, I'm in a yeah. totally different place now with that. So, uh, but yeah, you know, um, as far as patience in this business, it's everything. And, and people say, well, you know, when are you going to quit uh, being an artist? <laughs> well, I don't... I don't think you can do that, you know. Uh, there might come a time when I concentrate more on writing songs for that maybe someone else might record, but I just think, uh, I think I've still got a few hits in me one way or the other, and, and I can't help but do what I do. So, you have to walk away from that when you know you still have stories to share. Yeah, and, and, and the patience is in, uh, you know, it's it's... Like used to, I would be very frustrated with the business right now. But I, I look at it now like uh, the business is where it is, and and I'm and I am where I am. So, uh, and maybe they're connected, and maybe they're not. But but there's I say that not in a negative way. Uh, you no, know, I, know what I think you mean. over time you just get to that place, and that has to do with what you're talking about. It's like. I'm not. I'm not sweating that. Yeah. Uh, that's that's not my concern. My concern is when we go in that studio, we do the very best we can to represent what we've created, and mm -hmm. and at that point, yeah. you've done all you can do. You know? Yeah, and then it's out there. Yeah, I'm looking for a specific example, not names, <laughs> but situations of when maybe you weren't quite as patient or you made a decision about something that later on you realized, yeah, that might not have been, you know, really the right thing to do here. Um, what was that, what was that brought on by, you know, is it when stuff, when you look back on things that didn't turn out right, was that because of impatience? Was that an experience? Was that bad advice? All of the above? Like, what were sort of those, some of those things? Uh, I think that, you know, I could, I could look at, several different uh situations in the past yeah you, know, you know that might have led up to my um leaving a, a certain record label or uh, being dropped by a label or yeah. uh you know and, and there's there's no doubt that you know had I been a little further down the road I might have uh might have made different decisions in some of those situations sure um you know, one of the things I think about is um, uh, is how my how my very first uh, major label experience ended, um, and I kind of felt like it was in the air anyway, and I was saw myself heading down that road to, yeah. to the end of that particular relationship, which, you know, which is fine. It happens to everybody. It does. Um, yeah. And but that's another... Not, that doesn't make it any less hard when it's no, happening no, it's to you. a very difficult time. Uh, but I also knew, you know, if I get a chance to make this record and it's the last one, I didn't want to do something that I'd been doing on some of the other records. So I made a huge decision to... Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll just say that I, I had a... a uh, a, a decision that I was facing and it was a very uh, life-changing type of situation or at least it could have, could be right. which it was it turned yeah. out to be that uh, and I made a decision to go a certain uh, direction and I feel like it also contributed to me leaving that label not so far down the road in the future yeah. um, it would have been much easier for and for my life and my career had I had I remained there on that major label, but because of the things that went into that decision making process, because of what made me feel like I needed to do something different, I look back on it and I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. I, I would not go back and do it differently, even if I knew I could save the deal, and I don't think I could have. I think it was written on the wall, but. 
sometimes that as a man, as a human being, as a person, you have to know what your limits are as far as you know compromising your integrity or your character and 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 no matter what it's in i think that you ought to yourself at some point to say i just can't do this anymore and not feel good about it there's the line and so that was one of those times that's one of those things you're talking about it was a life-changing thing uh didn't necessarily go my way we made the best record i ever made at that point uh because uh, some of the people that had been involved were no longer involved, and we were free to go out there and do what we did. So was it that truly, out of that decision to truly do you, what came out of you, that made it the best record? At the, that, yeah, what, what that? made it the best record was was uh, because I asked these other people not to be involved. Uh, we just didn't, we weren't encumbered by all that. It, 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 they weren't really given much to the music anyway. Right. And, and it was more of controlling the process. And so um, we were able to go out there and, and make the record that we wanted to make and make it sound the way we wanted to sound, uh, cut the songs we wanted to cut. And uh, it just turned out great. We delivered several hits. The sad part was they already knew that they were planning to, to get rid of me. So there was never any product in the field. It would have sold millions, and it just didn't get a chance. But you, you still get to have that. The fulfillment and the reward, that's you can't unchanged take that away. based on, exactly. <laughs> they can right. do whatever they want, that's not going to That's change. right. We'll end on a much lighter question. Um, <clears throat> if you had to put together the soundtrack to your life of songs that were with you as you were growing up in high school, college, and all that kind of stuff, what, what songs are on that record? Oh, uh, oh man, um, Mama Tried, <laughs> Merle Haggard, uh, let's see. Take it easy. Uh, that's the Eagles. Um, uh, 14 Carat Mine, that's Gene Watson. Uh, uh, Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up Be Cowboys. <laughs> uh, it goes on and on. I mean, and, and, and you know, it's funny because there, there's. I, I grew up with country music. Cra- uh, I was nut, nuts about country, but I had other influences too. So there's songs <laughs> on that album from a lot of different uh, genres and a lot of different places. But uh, uh, I'd have to say mostly hardcore country stuff. So. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you. Enjoyed Thank it. You. Hope you have a great CRS. <laughs>